Hey guys, this is Josiah here. Welcome to my week 15 NFL schedule predictions. Without any further ado, let's go on and get with it. So starting with Thursday Night Football tonight, Chargers versus Raiders. Char or Justin Herbert's out for the season. Prayers up for him. And Keenan Allen is also out for this game. And just learned Josh Jacobs is also out. This game's going to suck. This game might end in a tie. I might actually pick tie, to be honest. But I, I flip a freaking coin. I'm choosing the Chargers, or the Raiders, excuse me. I don't know. These Both these teams suck. They're not good. Raiders just lost 3 nothing to the Chargers, or not to the Chargers, to the Vikings. The Chargers the week prior beat the Patriots 6 nothing. So, I mean, these teams suck. They both suck. They're both terrible. All right, Steelers-Colts on Saturday going to give me the Colts there. The Steelers just, Kenny Pickett, if he's injured, if he's going to miss this game, which he probably will. But, like, Mitch Trubisky's not good. They lost to the Patriots. They lost to the freaking Patriots. I couldn't believe it. Speaking of the Patriots, they play the Chiefs. Yeah, that's a win for the Chiefs. My goodness, they're limited for playoff contention. All I gotta do now, tank and get Caleb Williams. That's the best case scenario for you guys. Jets, Dolphins, going to give me the Dolphins for that. Dolphins need to bounce back after they lost to the Titans. Jets, though, just beat the Texans, but CJ Stroud got injured in that game. So I could, good grief. I need to find a better way to, like, get this camera to work. Or not camera, but this phone. My goodness, let's just do it right there. All right, Texans, Titans. I'm taking the Titans and an upset. That's if CJ Stroud does not play, which he's not been at practice. Neither has wide receiver Nico Collins, so... Uh, the the, the, the CJ Stroud has not played. Give me the Titans. If he does play, though, give me the Texans. Uh, that's the night football. We'll skip to up here. Vikings, Bengals. Go ahead and give me the Bengals. Bengals are hot right now. Jig Browning looks good. Vikings just beat the Raiders three nothing. That's not so hot. Broncos, Lions. Give me the Lions. I think th they they need a win. They need a win. They have been struggling basically ever since the Ravens clapped them thirty to six. Haha. <laughs> um, but I don't know. The Broncos. They need to stay alive in the AFC wild card monstrosity they're seven and six so it was like five or six afc other afc teams but my goodness okay you got bengals browns give it the browns they hold the first wild cards by eight and five um a win could really help them out they, they beat they play the bears they'll beat them i think they'll beat them joe flacco's been looking really good he just signed a contract so he'll be there for i don't know if that means the of the rest of this year or next year i don't know what cowboys uh versus bills going to give me the cowboys everyone's picking the bills i understand the bills just be the Chiefs. I was wrong. I was wrong. They did. They did end up being the Chiefs. If it was for Kadarius Tony going off sides and look like a freaking bozo like he always does, then maybe maybe they would have won. Cowboys beat the Eagles. They look hot. So both these teams proved me wrong. I think the Cowboys will win though. Bucks, Packers, give me the Packers. They're they hold the seven seed, but they're six and seven. But they do hold the seven seed though. But they need to bounce back after their loss to the Giants. That was rough for them bucks you know they they hold the wild they hold the nfc south title right now they're six and seven the tank division no one cares about that bro no one cares about that division it sucks giants saints giants just got a big win over the packers but i think they'll lose to the saints tommy devito does look good i mean if they if they win this game we might have to start talking about tommy devito i'm not but just sure i don't think he'll be the starter next season just because they they signed they went out of their way to sign daniel jones to a massive contract this offseason benching him for tommy devito would be kind of weird to do, although Tommy DeVito does look better than Daniel Jones ever did this season before he got injured. Falcons, Panthers, give me the Falcons tank division, but the Panthers just freaking suck. They're like one, one in one in thirteen. They're terrible. Uh, so give me the Falcons there. Niners, Cardinals going to give me the Niners. Niners, no one's beating them, especially not the Cardinals. They're done for. Commanders, Rams, give me the Rams. Rams had a heartbreak uh, against the Ram or the Ravens in OT. On that crazy punt return touchdown, which good for us. No, no block of the back call. You could, you could argue that, um, and that might have went the Rams' way if they would have called him. Who knows? Maybe the Rams would have won that game. Who would they would have stopped him there? I don't know. Eagles, Seahawks going to give me the Eagles. I think they'll win that game. Uh, Seahawks just they're they're struggling right now. Eagles they've lost two in a row. They got to bounce back, and now they're not even in the NFC East anymore. The Cowboys do because they beat them. All right, now on a Sunday night football. Ravens Charger or not Ravens Chargers Ravens Jags go ahead and give me the Ravens I think they'll, they'll win they have the toughest remaining schedule they got this game against the Jags then the Niners on Christmas Monday night then you got the Dolphins at home and the Steelers at home uh so it's gonna be tough going to be very tough but you know what? I think I think we'll be able to persevere I think we'll be able to win uh this game at least because I don't know it, like the Jags they they kind of stuck around with the Browns. They lost to them, though. But Trevor Lawrence, he threw three touchdowns, but also three interceptions. I don't know if his ankle being injured has anything to do with it. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? But that'll do it for my Week 15 NFL schedule predictions. After this week, there'll be three weeks left. Four, four weeks left. My goodness. 
So like hit, hit like subscribe notification bell that we're never seeing new videos like this one as always that's Cloud9 little support that's so just do it as a suggestion by me and I'll see you guys in the next video see you guys bye.